Hello painters, it's Debbie from acrylicpouring.com and I'm back today for a little bit of swiping fun. So if you've been watching my channel for a while, you might have seen the starburst swipe that I did where I laid out all of my colours, pretty much all of them, in a big rainbow out from the centre and then I swiped out from the centre with a lighter colour and created like a starburst effect. So I've had this one in mind ever since I did that one and because I'm a keen scuba diver, there's a beautiful scene underwater as you go deeper in the water and you kind of look up towards the sun the rays of the sun come out through the water and you get like dark around the outside then lighter and lighter and then the white from the the sun coming out through the the center and so that's what i am hoping to create with this one so it'll be the same kind of effect a starburst swipe but it will be an ombre so i want darker blue on the outside right through to lighter blue and then white in the middle so I've got very nice gallery wrapped canvas here which I've prepared and the colour that you see painted on it right now it looks kind of black in the camera but in fact what it is is an ultramarine blue and I've added some black to it to make it nice and dark so that the sides of the canvas are nice and dark and then the first colour that I'm going to use is this one this is again one that I've mixed myself. This is the ultramarine blue and I've added some black to it. Now it looks a little bit lighter here at the moment because it's got Floetrol, but when the um, Floetrol dries, it'll be clear and this color will go darker. So it'll be closer to the one that we've got just here. So this is gonna be my outer color. And then I've got an um, ultramarine blue just on its own with no black added. Then a cobalt blue, a turquoise, and there's not very much of that one. This is an apple barrel colour, I think it's called cloudless, and then some white for the middle. So I want to put them out in that order. And as you can see, I've also laid out my canvas. So I've painted the edges and then I found the centre and made a circle because I want it to be pretty much central to, um, to this canvas. So if I get my specs on and we'll make a start. Now all of my paints are mixed um, one part Floetrol to two parts paint, uh, water as necessary to get to the right consistency and then they have a few drops of the treadmill belt silicon lubricant in them. So I'm just going to start I think by laying out this darkest colour and because my painting is going to be circular then as it comes out the Basically, the corners will be what is going to be this darkest colour. So I'm just going to lay a little bit out on these corners, like this, I think. I'm going to start to swipe. I've got these little paint chip cards from the DIY stores in all the ugly colours that are left behind. So I'm going to swipe out in all directions. Um, now I've got this first colour and I'll just make sure with my damp cloth here that I'm going to wipe my card off every time. And we should end up with that lighter colour going over the darker ones. Oh, I seem to have made a mess there. And hopefully making some pretty cells. So far, so good. I may need to go and wipe my cloth in a little bit. Let's see how we go. Still going strong. Now, because I'm right-handed, I really need to spin that around and see and then I can swipe a bit more okay so I think I'm good with that one so now I just need to go and clean off this cloth otherwise I'm going to transfer a load of paint and then I'll come back and we'll do some more colors okay time for our turquoise next I don't have very much of this so it's going to be the barest a little bit, of, a little bit, oh, in fact, oh, yep, there we go, there's some. Oh, 
I'll get a clean swipe swiper and off we go again and now I'm going to take these lighter colors off over hopefully gently over those darker ones let's see what happens oh that color is not swiping well at all oh I think it's ruined I think it's ruined oh what's wrong with that color well the idea was good the execution was good right up until the point I used that really light colour and it's not swiping well at all. Look how heavy it is. Oh, it's completely covering all those others. Well, that's kind of disappointing. That didn't really didn't turn out how I wanted. Okay, well, all is not lost because we can just add some more of the darker colours on the top. So I'm going to add some more of the darker ones because that light colour completely covered them up. Now let's go with a bit more. And a bit more of the turquoise. Oh, no, we didn't have any turquoise. The turquoise is gone. Okay. So we'll put a bit more of this in the middle, knowing that that's going to cover it up. And then let's go with some white. Well, that was a bit disappointing. That... Um, Cloudless is a really nice colour, but clearly it did not swipe well under those circumstances. So, all is not lost. Let's give it another go and see what we get now. So I'm going to now just gently kind of, I'm going to curve my card just a little bit like this because I just want to pick up the white and just lightly pull it over the others. And let's see if I can in some way redeem this make it look a little bit more like I'd intended. I'm going to have to swipe a little bit farther than I'd expected to take away these um, these colours here. Oh, I'm a bit disappointed, I have to say. I'm a bit disappointed that it's not come out as I wanted. And I should have tested the colours first because that um, really light one kind of spoiled it okay so let's have a look I uh, kind of need to go a little bit more that way well all is not entirely lost it's just not um, quite how I had expected because of this one that didn't work out with the swipe it was really really opaque it didn't um, work well over the other colors um, but I think it's turned out okay in the end it's not exactly as I wanted because I had to put some more of those darker colors in here which I wasn't expecting I really wanted to keep the darker ones to the outside but I think I think it's um, it's still nice I think maybe oh I don't know should I do a little bit more there I want to pick up a little bit of that white take it that way and then I think just a little bit here I'm just going to use the corner of my card where I've got a little bit there and just swipe out that way and another one just lightly there okay I'm just here see now I'm in danger of over fiddling Let's have a look. Last bit, I promise, last one. Okay, so there we are. This is my new underwater starburst swipe, which has got the darker colors on the outside and the lighter colors. As you saw, it didn't exactly work out as I had to plan, but I'd really love to do this one again sometime. Leaving out this one, this didn't work so well. And maybe um, practice with a, another blue instead because I think the, um, the colors together look really good. And it definitely looks like exactly when I look up towards the sun underwater and the, the rays of light are coming and you've got the light bright sun in the middle and then the darker water on the outside. So it definitely looks like this. I think the edges are going to look really cool where I've got the uh, the paint dribbling down over the sides. Yeah, that definitely looks cool. So this one is a keeper for sure. I'm going to dry it off, varnish it and show you what it looks like when it's finished. 
I thought you might like to just see a few close-ups of what it looks like while it's wet. There we go. Looks kind of cool. The cells all look really nice. And I think I do still have this kind of light to dark effect, even though it wasn't exactly to plan. But it still looks really beautiful. And uh, I'm happy with that one so far. So hang around and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. So here it is dried and finished. I have to say, it's another of my favorites. I love this painting. It was a kind of rocky road along the way to get it to come out how I wanted, but in the end, I'm really, really happy with the results. It's got some really great texture too, which I really love about this style of painting. When the cells make really great texture, I really love that. So I decided not to finish this one with my usual polycrylic because it's very glossy, very thick, and it doesn't always show so much of the texture. And I really liked the texture on this one. So I've used the UV resistant clear varnish spray on this one. Uh, it's still a gloss finish but I think it shows enough of the texture that uh, it really um, makes the most of the design of this painting. So thank you very much for watching. I hope to see you on our channel again here very soon and do pop over to acrylicpouring.com for some more. See you there soon. Bye bye.